I believe it's essential for breakdancers and photographers to create their own unique style. This is because this style is what will excite the viewers and separate you from the crowd. My name is Jason Haleko. I'm an action sports photographer based here in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, I mainly shoot action sports consisting of things like uh, skateboarding, BMX, Flatland BMX, um, but I also get to shoot things like uh, breakdance, DJ events, portraits and that kind of thing, so it's a, quite a wide variety of shooting that I do. So the first location we picked was a, a shrine in Shibuya, it's quite a nice little shrine. Uh, and uh, I wanted to show that aspect of traditional Japan in the photos while I was shooting with uh, B-Boy Jun there. Um, the one aspect of that shrine is that it's surrounded by a lot of really tall buildings that are very uh, modern and so trying to keep those out of the photos as much as I could just to really focus on the traditional aspect of, uh, of the shrine and of Japanese culture uh, was probably the hardest part about shooting there. But it was really fun. It's a really, really cool spot. Um, the second spot we decided to go to was actually a rooftop, um, not far from Shibuya. Um, and that was, I just love shooting breakdancing anywhere, but on a rooftop it's even more amazing. So there we had B-Boy Taisuke. And I guess the main difficulties there are challenges shooting on any kind of a rooftop in that is you have to be careful about what you're doing. Safety is a huge, uh, a huge factor, but um, also just, you know, when you're up there, you can be really creative. We're allowed to move around quite a bit. And uh, I really, really like the images we caught out of there. And Taisuke is always a pleasure to work with. Been working with him a long time. And uh, yeah, just working on a rooftop and doing any kind of photography is absolutely amazing, so. あの、And then our last location was actually um, a quite a bit far out of uh, Tokyo in Hakone. And there, uh, my friend uh, Wood actually painted a wall for us and uh, did some graffiti on the wall. Because I wanted to show now like more of the urban style and a bit of a grittier style with um, the b-boying, because that's, you know, b-boying came out of the streets. Breakdancing is really, really came out of the streets. So we wanted to get some more of a, a street culture vibe to the shots. And there we had Really beautiful girl, uh, beautiful B girl, uh, B girl Miharu, and she's she was amazing. Um, her style and uh, not only her dance style but her clothing style and her style of how she moves really matched well with that setting. So it was a lot of fun. It was uh, again we got some really cool original images there. It was really neat. Mm. So for me, shooting breakdance, um, b-boys and b-girls um, is really, really a unique experience every time. Uh, in the b-boying culture and breakdancing culture, there is a lot of emphasis on style. So every b-boy and every b-girl has their own way of doing things, their own unique style on the, the moves and the techniques that they do. Um, and you know, in a way, this can really relate a lot really closely to uh, photography um, because every time you make a photo, no matter who you are and what you're using, it's always composition, uh, focal length, f-stop, uh, aperture, and all these things that everyone uses uh, equally when they're making a photo. But uh, how you use those and how you bring them together in your image and how to create your own style is really what makes you a unique photographer and uh, yeah, how you have your own style as a photographer. So shooting with these b-boys and b-girls, I was really, uh, I learned a lot about style, personal style and that, and how to bring that out in my own photos and that. So I think I've really been inspired by the breakdance photos I've been doing over the years, and it's really helped for me to develop uh, myself as a photographer. <laughs>